Good morning. My name is Ablakul Varzigul and I'm a teacher at Turkic State Pedagogical University. We are having a course on intercultural communication and today's theme is devoted to culture shock. Throughout the lesson, we will discover the impact of cultural, cultural diversity on individuals throughout an explanation of culture shock, its stages, symptoms, and some strategies to cope with culture shock. All right, uh, let's first of all give the definition of culture shock. It's uh, understand culture shock as disorientation or discomfort experienced when encountering a new culture, customs, and beliefs different from our own. Culture shock can manifest in uh, various ways, such as feelings of confusion, frustration, difficulty in adapting to new cultural social norms, and sense of loss and homesickness. So it's important to approach new culture with an open mind, curiosity, respect, and uh, as they can help ease the transition and foster meaningful conversation, uh, cross-cultural interaction. Let's talk about the stages of culture shock. There are four stages. The first is, stage is called honeymoon phase. The second stage is difficult phase. Third stage is uh, adjustment phase, and the last stage is mastery phase. Now let's talk about these stages one by one. The first stage is uh, after the initial uh, uh, excitement of being in a new culture, many people experience a period of euphoria known as honeymoon phase. During this time, Cultural di uh, differences might seem, might seem charming and fascinating, and everything feels so fresh and exciting. exciting. And this phase can last somewhere from a few months, a few, few days, up to several months, depending on the person and the culture they, they are experiencing. However, honeymoon phase ev eventually fades leading to onset of culture shock. Uh, it's important to note that honeymoon phase is the initial phase of uh, culture shock when, we, when people travel to another country and when they leave there for shorter periods of time, they may not feel the other stages of culture shock. Uh, they, people usually feel culture shock uh, when they work or study in new culture for long periods of time. All right, the second stage is called difficult phase. Uh, as individuals continue to navigate the challenges of adapting to a new culture, they may encounter difficult phases. During this stage, they may face uh, frustration, feelings of isolation, and feeling of being overwhelmed. It's important to remember that this phase is temporary, and it can be overcome with the uh, self-preservance and support. Third stage, it's called adjustment phase. As the honeymoon phase wears off, individuals st start to face the challenge of new culture, uh, of adapting to a new culture. During the adjustment phase. They may encounter difficulties in understanding local, local customs, language barriers, and feeling homesick. However, with the time and effort, they can develop resilience, gradually feel more comfortable in their new environment. Alright, the last stage is called mastery phase. It's when Individuals have successfully navigated the difficult phase and they enter, it, they enter the master phase, mastery phase. During this stage, they have gained a deeper understanding and appreciation for the new culture. They also uh, might have de de developed new skills and relationships that will serve them well in their both in their personal and professional lives. 
All right, let's, uh, now let's talk about the common symptoms of culture shock. If you are having, uh, if people have one of these symptoms, it might be indicator of uh, culture shock. The first symptom is called cultural uh, language dif difficulties. It's when people struggle to communicate or when they struggle to understand local dialects, uh, when they misunderstand phrases and when they have difficulty ordering fast food at restaurants. The second symptom is feeling isolated. A sense of detachment from familiar support networks. And examples can be missing for their friends and families back home, difficulties making new connections, friends and relationships. Third symptom is called frustration and irritability. Experiencing impatience and annoyance due to cultural differences. For example, getting frustrated with local customs um, when they feel overwhelmed by the new norms. The last one is called nostalgia. Longing for their home country and familiarities. Um, it can be example for when people yearn for their favorite foods, when they miss familiar, familiar holidays and celebrations. And it's important to know that they may also feel uh, physical symptoms too, such as loss of appetite and uh, this, this, uh, this depression. All right, um, now let's talk about the factors that contribute to the culture shock. First factor is language barrier. It's when people struggle to communicate effectively and it can be it can accelerate the culture shock. Uh, for example, when they misunderstand directions or when they ha struggle to have meaningful conversation and when they struggle to ex uh, make themselves. The next factor is social customs. Uh, unfamiliar unfamiliar uh, social norms and customs can lead to confusion and discomfort. Uh, for example, not knowing proper gre greetings or unfamiliarity with local etiquette. So, uh, when we visit a new culture, we, sh we always try eat uh, food and the cuisine of that culture. And it can be quite difficult adapting to new flavors and diary practices can be and it can be challenging for example when they try unfamiliar and familiar dishes when they adjust to different meal times all right now let's talk about the benefits of overcoming culture shock so first benefit is cultural exchange People um, engage in conversation with the people from different cultures and it can develop their cross-cultural competence. And when they share um, traditions and customs, they, it can help they broaden their mind. The uh, next uh, benefit is per personal growth. Overcoming challenges, adopting to new culture and to new, new environments uh, helps people to acquire resilience and adaptability. And when they gain a better understanding of their own values and beliefs, they uh, obtain a deeper sense of self. self. Um, the last benefit of culture shock of overcoming the culture shock is called global opportunities. It can unlock the new career prospects when they build um, connections with professionals from different countries and when they get access to international job opportunities. And uh, it can help to expand uh, professional networks as they uh, practice, uh, participate in global projects. So, today we learned about the culture shock, 
Culture shock challenges our perception.